Fivers, it's Miss Mia here and I'm really excited because I'm going to be your New Year 6 teacher in September hopefully. I've already spoken to Miss Halls and I've learned a lot about you all and I know I've already met quite a few of you because I have been the Year 5 Behaviour Lead this year but I need to stress this, um, being a Behaviour Lead is completely different to being a class teacher. I am actually really nice, I promise. Okay so I just want to say welcome and we will be 6M next year. So. We've been asked to create a little PowerPoint presentation about ourselves so you find out a bit about us before you start in September. So hopefully you'll enjoy this. So the first question I was asked to answer is why did I become a teacher? Now to really think about this one, but I've got two images here. So the first image is um, this, it's a selection of things. So when I was little, I begged my mum, I really begged my mum to buy me this toy set and it was a school toy set. And um, I, my mum eventually bought it for me and I had this little briefcase and I'd put all the toys in there and I'd sit in my mum's room and I'd take out the brief, I'd open up the briefcase and I'd set out my classroom and I'd have a little teddies and I'd sit there teaching them every single day. And I think from there, from a young age, I was actually about six or seven, from a young age I always wanted to teach something or someone. I just wanted people to listen to me quite frankly. And then I was very lucky when I was growing up because um, I had really inspiring teachers and they helped me become the person I am today. So um, I thought may maybe I can do it myself and I can help inspire and motivate children to be their absolute best as well. So that's the reason why I became a teacher. So what are my favorite subjects and why? I like teaching a lot of things. I've been a teacher for a number of years now and actually I enjoy teaching the whole curriculum. But some of my favourite subjects um, include English, I love reading, really enjoy reading a book. Um, I love writing stories, I love writing newspaper articles, and um, I really enjoy grammar, and you'll find that out in September. I love a bit of grammar. Um, I also like a bit of maths. Um, I have four brothers and they all have a mathematical brain and I like finding solutions to problems. It doesn't always come to me easily, but I do eventually get there. Um, I also like history. Um, I like finding out about the past and how people have shaped the world we live in right now. And um, one of my favourite topics in history is World War II. And um, I also like ancient civilizations, including the ancient Egyptians. I think they're pretty cool, building the pyramid without much technology available. And then lastly, geography. Now I have to tell you, my sense of direction is shocking. I once uh, got lost for about six hours and um, yeah it was really really bad however despite all of that i really enjoy geography and learning about new countries people and how the pe how people are connected to the world we live in and i also like traveling to lots of places too um i am good at geography i'm just not good at directions can't be good at everything so what do i like most about hampton junior school now i didn't start my teaching at hampton junior school i was at a previous school and um, the difference between my previous school and this school is that this school feels like a family. We've got lots of really supportive teachers and staff and actually the children are an absolute dream to teach. So that's what I like most about Hampton Junior School and the fact that we, all, we are always there for one another and um, it's always a big laugh. Like every single day is really enjoyable and I actually enjoy coming into school every single day. And um, I don't live too far away so that helps too. Uh, so that's what I like about Hampton Junior School. And Miss Lockie's alright too. I mean, she's not too bad. Um, interests outside of school. So when I'm not in school, um, I like doing a lot of things. Um, but here are just a few. So I enjoy reading. I can devour books. Um, my love for reading didn't start until a lot later though. Um, I know lots of children find it difficult to actually sit and read a book and stuff. And I understand. I wasn't much of a reader when I was a child, but as soon as I became a lot older, um, I started reading. And I just love following a character's journey through a story, through a book and so on, and just finding out about different people and their lives. Um, I, I like staying fit, I like doing some exercise, and I think it's really good for your mental health and well-being. If you ask my children at the moment in year six, um, they will tell you how much I like making them work hard. And we're currently doing daily exercise in the Rose Hall. And um, they say they enjoy it, but I'm not sure if they actually do. But we're, we're going with it. It's good for them. Um, I also like socialising with not just family, but also friends. I think it's really important to actually relax with the people around you and actually switch yourselves off and enjoy things with um, family and friends. And then lastly, I actually like cooking. I'm not good at baking. I can't bake. But I can cook. 
I can cook a lot of things, so um, it's one of the things I enjoy doing. I know that Mrs. Gale doesn't like cooking though. She's really bad at cooking. So if she ever offers you anything, don't accept it. So, my positive reflection. Now I've got an image here of the Toy Story family and that's my positive reflection for this whole lockdown scenario. Being around family. Now, I'm from a large family and I'll get onto that a bit later on. And we all have busy lives. So actually, during the lockdown, we spent a lot of time together. So we cooked together, we watched films together, we spoke about our child, we've spoken about our childhood and so on and growing up. And it's just been nice spending time with every single person and um, getting to reconnect, I think, is a key thing. And actually going on walks and so on. So my positive re reflection is actually spending time with my family, but also um, having time to invest in my hobbies. So reading, cooking and so on. Right, that's my positive reflection. And then we were asked to write about fun facts. Now these aren't really fun, they're just facts. I don't know what constitutes as fun facts, but um, here's some things about me. Number one, I moved to the UK when I was five months old and originally lived in Cardiff, Wales when we first moved here. It's just a fact, it's not really fun. Number two, I can read Arabic fluently, so if you don't know, I'm a Muslim, and the holy book is the Quran, which is written in Arabic, and when I was younger, we used to go to school uh, Monday to Friday, and then every Saturday and Sunday, we'd have an Arabic tutor who teaches us two hours each day, so on a Saturday and a Sunday, so four hours in total um, over the weekend so we could read the Quran fluently. Um, I don't really understand what I'm reading, but I'm getting better at it. I mean, it's quite hard. Um, number three, I have a very large extensive family and you'll find out about that in a bit, well, later on. Number four, uh, we, I'm originally from Bangladesh, I was born in Bangladesh and we actually have a family home in Bangladesh too, it's really nice. Um, Bangladesh is a lovely country as well. And then lastly, I love watching films, I'm a huge film geek, um, yeah I love watching films, all uh, types of films. Um, I'm not a fan of sci-fi though, if I'm being honest. Um, and I'm a massive football fan. Um, I, I hate to admit it, but I'm an Arsenal fan. I know not, they're not having the best season at the moment, and I know I'm going to get ridiculed for it, but I don't care. Um, I'm a big Arsenal fan. Been to lots of their matches and so on. So, as I mentioned, I have a massive family. Um, so, here's just a few snaps. So, it's my dad, my mum, my two brothers. So, there's four, or six of us in total. I've got four brothers, two older brothers, then myself. I've then got another brother, a sister, and then my youngest brother. So I'm kind of teetering in the middle. Um, in total, in my um, family, there's 17 of us in our immediate family. However, last week, super exciting, we had a new addition. So actually, there's an 18th member. So my brother, who's just um, older than me, he had another son. And he's just there. That's him on, that's his second day. Second day being in this world. Uh, so that's my nephew. And um, I've got four nephews and two nieces, and I do like being an auntie, because I can just give them away afterwards. So I love spending time with them, and you know, just chatting to them and stuff. They come out with lots of random things, but then I just like being able to walk away from them, knowing that they're not my responsibility. But um, yeah, I've got a massive family. I've always been surrounded by people, and um, yeah, I like to think I've become quite sociable as a result. But yeah, spending time with the family is cool. And it's my mum, I really like my mum. Uh, she's all right, you know, she's not too bad. What will you get from me? And I think this is really important. What am I like as a teacher? I didn't have to include it, but I want you to kind of know what I'm like as a teacher. It's really important for me. So from me, you will get support. I will constantly be supporting you, no matter what. Even if you find things challenging, I'll be there to lend you a helping hand. Um, I will be there to motivate you. Even when you're finding things challenging and tricky, I'll be your personal cheerleader cheering you on, okay? You may not like it, but I will be there in the background. Um, I'm really dedicated to what I do. So I make sure that every single lesson is planned to a really high standard and it's fun as well. So actually you enjoy it and I enjoy teaching it, okay? So I'm dedicated to the course. Um, <laughs> this is debatable. I reckon I'm quite funny. But my previous classes may say that I am not, but I like to think I am. I like to keep my classroom light-hearted and calm and quite, um, don't like being serious. I quite like being quite jovial and jokey, but I, I am serious when I need to be, just saying. And then lastly, 
I'm a really good listener. So if you have any problems or any issues and you just need someone to talk to, I'll happily sit and talk to you from my desk over here. Okay, I will sit and listen, 100%. So what do I expect from you then? Because I'm going to give you 100%. So what do I expect from you? I expect you to just work hard. I want you to come in every single day ready to work hard. Okay, that's super important. I want you to have a laugh and actually realise that school is a fun learning environment. Okay, it's not a stressful, um, stressful space where you just come in and you just work, work, work. It's a balance between having fun and being serious. I want you to persevere, so even when you're finding things tricky, I just want you to keep going and use the tools around you to support you with your learning. I want you to challenge yourself, okay, so don't just do the bare minimum, push yourself, go for the goals, go for the challenges, really excel in your learning. And then lastly, I just want you to believe in yourself and aspire to be your absolute best. And I think that's my biggest um, challenge for next year is make sure that you are your absolute best for next year or during next year and in year six okay so this is what i expect from you and just be kind be kind and supportive boys and girls we thought it'd be a really cool idea to read you one of our favorite poems now this is one of my favorite poems and allegedly it's mrs gale's favorite poem as well so she's jumped on the bandwagon it's called please mrs butler by alan alberg it's a collection of poems but we're going to read you the title one so are you ready mrs gale yeah i just remember this poem from when i was a child and i really really enjoyed it I don't think anyone asked, but okay. It's called Please, Mrs. Butler. Please, Mrs. Butler, this boy, Derek Drew, keeps copying my work, miss. What shall I do? Go and sit in the hall, dear. Go and sit in the sink. Take your books in the roof, my lamb. Do whatever you think. Please, Mrs. Butler, this boy, Derek Drew, keeps taking my rubber, miss. What shall I do? Keep it in your hand, dear. Hide it up your vest. Swallow it, swallow it if you like, love. Do what you think's best. Please, Mrs. Butler, this boy, Derek Drew, keeps calling me rude names, miss. What shall I do? Lock yourself in a cupboard, dear. Run away to see. Do whatever you can, my flower, but don't ask me. Now, um, you'll be pleased to know I'm nothing like Mrs. Butler, but I think Mrs. Gale is. Don't worry, you won't be hiding in the cupboards. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I hope you enjoyed that, guys. Bye. Right, so thanks for listening guys. Um, I cannot wait to teach you in September and I really look forward to seeing you all very soon. Right, bye.